Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be talking about Eddie McColl's false table cut project. Before I do that, have a look at this. So please like, subscribe, press the little bell icon so you'll get notifications of all my videos uh, and comment and share and all that. That'd be lovely. And please go and check out carmagiccourse.com, which uh, if you are a regular viewer, you will know that I say that every time. That's because that funds the whole thing, which is funny because it doesn't really, but <laughs> one day it will. Uh, nothing funds the whole thing at the moment, but there you go. Not a complaint, as I say again every time. God, I'm sounding like a broken record, aren't I? But there you go. Um, today, I'm going to talk about Eddie McColl's uh, Fool's Table Cut project. The last time I did his uh, his classic pass download, which was great, and then there was the RSVP video that he did, the Glasgow Connection, which I, just thought, I go, went back to that the other day after he got in contact about this and saw that. And then looked at this um, uh, this Marlow controller. Anyway, I'm going I'm going off the beaten track as I tend to do. So what's this? Well, it's what it sounds like. It's a full table cut project. It's five, or, yeah, five. I think uh, full table cuts of varying difficulties, and we'll go into the sort of difficulty stuff in a minute. The Afus Gaffus cut, another the Garcia thing. Marnay's cut. No, Marnay's. God. Marnay's cut, uh, which is re really one of those cuts that I've been doing for a long time, but just there's a subtlety on that, which is really, really easy, but really, really deceptive. Um, the multiple false cut by Di Vernon, the Hustler's triple cut, which is very similar to the multiple false cut, and the to the table cut um, by Larry Jennings. Now, so some of it's so who's this for? Some of you will be established magicians going, why do I need to learn more false cuts? And I just sat there for a half an hour. This is a half an hour download. And I just sat there with my cards for about an hour because I kept stopping it. And I learned something. I learned quite a lot. I think it's really useful to learn from lots of different sources. I love that confirm learning thing when you sit down with stuff you already know. Look at my card course. I've got a foundations course, which goes back to how to hold the cards and shuffle the cards without any false shuffles. And even sometimes I look at my shuffles and I kind of go, am I still there? Because sometimes we get bad habits. Um, there are a couple of subtleties on it, which this um, Larry Jennings swing cut thing to the table I've been doing for a long time. There's a couple of things that I haven't been doing for a long time. I just looked at him and went, oh, it makes it so much better. And then he's got his version, which is based on a Gordon Bruce thing, which is so deceptive and not very difficult. And as he says, I think with, with a lot of table cuts, you've got the up the ladder cut and people that add, add more cuts to them and you've got this speed thing. And it's very addictive doing that. But as he said, it gets a bit complicated and it starts becoming a cut. It starts becoming like a shuffle. So this kind of reminds you, actually, I don't have to overcomplicate things. I can learn, you know, the five on here and that'll do me. And of course it'll do. And if you're anything like me, it won't do. You'll keep learning other ones. But um, the point is that these cuts on here are all you're going to need for a table. And there's a bit where he, where he talks about, you know, if you haven't got a table and you just want to do the single cut onto someone's hands, it just adds that bit of that bit of uh, fairness to the whole procedure. And it's not about doing gambling routines because it, what is so refreshing is he said, you know, I'm not a magician that claims to be a gambler. I present this as magic, which is, you know, because we've all seen, and I've been guilty of it, you know, I'll tell my stories about being in a casino and people know, don't they? <laughs> they know that you were in, that you're just a geeky magician and you haven't been in casinos ever. You know, people say that thing to me, oh, oh but you, they wouldn't let you in a casino. I'm like, no, because they, they don't like me because <laughs> I'm, I'm boring and I've got enough friends. Not because I can cheat, but anyway. Um, so, this is a really not. it's really, uh, Eddie's stuff is a bit like Ian Moran. I, I, I did an Ian Moran's review. Um, it's a kind of week of genuine authenticity, and I talk about this a lot, and again, like a broken record, but I love it when you see things that are just, there's no pretense. And I think we're getting a lot of that now. I think that... It's kind of done a turnaround. When I sort of fell out of love with magic, there was so much pretense. Everybody was trying to do the cool thing, you know, be cool. And, you know, you just got to be yourself. And if you're not the cool person with a Matrix style jacket, then just be a person that's just very good at magic. And and when you're authentic, and I talk about this in my uh, presentation classes, the minute you're, you can find your voice, then you're on a winner. People will go along with it. And I really go along with any stuff. That's why I talk about it a lot, because it is just unpretentious. He does it because he loves it bit like Ian's stuff, it's really strong, and you can tell he uses it. So these cuts here, are, a couple of them aren't the ones you'd find, they'd, you'd, usually they're not your up, up your ladder cut, up your ladder, <laughs> get, up, get up your ladder and do your cut. So I really recommend it, it's a tenner, 
you know what I mean? So sit down for half an hour uh, with your deck of cards for a tenner. And, you know, I'd pay Eddie more than that to sit with me and show me them cuts. Difficulty level, now I'm obviously comfortable with cards, so I could go through it pretty much in real time. I think most people could with the odd pause. It's it's not this kind of fast, like he says, it's not this fast strip out action that takes quite a lot of practice. And these do take quite a lot of practice to make them convincing, of course. But you can get the concept very quickly. For a beginner, it's a great place to start. You know, you've got, you got these false cuts you'll be able to do fairly quickly. And for an, someone that's been more advanced, just to go and do that confirmed learning thing of just seeing the little subtleties and Eddie's little thoughts on them uh, is a really useful thing to do. So I'll put the links below. It's 10 quid. Half an hour download, um, and you can't go wrong, really. So there you go, Eddie McColl's false table cut project. Uh, before you go, or not before you go, after you've gone, um, check out the Card Magic course. That'll be lovely, cardmagiccourse.com. I'm in the middle of designing a new page for it, and I'm going to put a blog on it and all that sort of stuff. Um, brilliant learning and a great way to support this channel. Uh, and please like, subscribe, share, and be lovely to each other. Have a good one. Cheers.